And for this experiment, we're gonna need apples. Let's check it out and close up. You got an apple, but you wanna split it with your friend, but you don't have a knife. So how would you break it in half? So the easiest way is put your finger in between like that in the middle and just stamp it on, the, on your finger like that. Let's check it out. And you got half one right here and the other half right here. Let's try this again. I think I stamp on it way too hard. So just hit it a little bit lighter. Oops. So. You see? And you got it in half. I kind of start, you know, hitting it too much. But very simple way to break it in half. For this experiment, we're gonna need dish soap, milk, food coloring, plate, and the ear cleaning thing, you know what I mean? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pour milk first, you know, in a plate. Then we're gonna make a couple drops of food coloring of red, green right here, yellow. What else? We got blue. We can put some green over here again. Let's put, let's put some yellow over there, a little bit more. Anyways, then we're gonna grab our dish soap and soap it up with a stick like that all the way all the way you see how how much there is and then we're just gonna stick it in there look at this craziness today i'm gonna try to open a beer with the cd let's check it out so the idea is hit it real hard over here and so it will fly out all right let's do this like do this kind of motion like with the wrist you know and as hard as you can but not not the bottle, the cap. That's it. That's how we open a beer, just uh, with CD. For this experiment, we're gonna need a tuck pin. Please let me know how do you call those things in English. So let's see what we're gonna do. All right, I'm gonna grab it by the end like that and do that. Check it out. It just spins like that. Can you do that? If you don't, I'm gonna show you how to. All right, check it out. This is how you're gonna hold it. Like that, put it in your middle finger, the F finger, the fourth finger, you know? And then you're gonna do like a snap your fingers, you know? And then you just snap your fingers, and it stays like this. Pretty cool, huh? So you can challenge somebody to do that, and if they don't know how to do it, they're gonna fail pretty hard. Let's try this again. Pretty amazing, huh? For this experiment, we're gonna need balloon, scurl, the bamboo scurl for shish kabah, you know, the grilling thing, and some soap. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna blow up the balloon. And then we're gonna try and put the scurl to the balloon. You see? You see it popped easily. Let's try this again. This time I'm gonna put soap on my fingers like that. Soap it up. And put that soap on this curl right here. Like, soap it up pretty nicely, you know? And let's start to do the same thing, see if it will work. Right here, to this bottom, on the top. See. You see, it didn't pop this time. Ouch. And then we're gonna come out on the other side. Check it out. You see? You see, and it's not popped. So, and as you can see, I stick it on the side and it pops. So, you have to do it from the top and the bottom. It, there is less uh, tension on the stage whenever you bo blow up because it's t stage on the side and less stage is on the top and on the bottom. You see what I'm saying? And for this experiment, we're gonna need buttermilk, food coloring, plate. Let's get to it. First, we're gonna pour buttermilk in the plate. Then we're gonna grab our food coloring and drop it. In one place like that, there's green, there's yellow, there's red. And then we're gonna need a little bit of soap and just 
drop a little bit over there. Check out what happens. Is that intense? Let's dump some over here. Pretty amazing, huh? Dump some over here. Pretty crazy, huh? Look how it all goes down like that. Pretty cool experiment, huh? You can drop all the way in there. Look, it's starting to go right here. Awesome, huh? Stop with these bubbles. Anyways. I'm gonna use the plasma ball to make some cool experiments. Check it out. Turn it on. You cannot see because there's too much light. Let me turn off the lights. Now, today I'm gonna try to put a piece of aluminum foil and see what happens. Kind of small pinch. Ah, they hurt. After a while, it's starting to hurt. Oh, that's cool. Check this out. And for this experiment, we're gonna need a beer. And you know, sometimes you don't have a can opener, so how can we open it? All we're gonna need is a piece of paper. Let's check out how we do it. So, this is how we do it. We're gonna fold it a bunch of times. So you got surface with a lot of like, you know, folds like here and normal right here. So let's get out how we do it right here. Gonna grab it down like that and open it. Pretty cool, huh? With a piece of paper. For this experiment, we're gonna need matches. We're gonna need like four matches. We're gonna stack one match and put it to the other one quickly. And blow it out. As you can see, we got this too much right here. So once we're done that, we're gonna need another match and set it up like this. Okay, we're done that. And then you challenge somebody to pick up all the matches with the one match. Everybody will be trying to do something and fail, and this is how you do it. You pretty much pull on these two matches. You see the one match drops and then you lift it up. You see what I mean? And you want the bed. So this is how you set them up. You go up by the bottom of the match and the top of these two matches. And like just like that. Pretty easy. Takes a little bit of practice and then you ask somebody to pick up all the matches with one match. They're gonna be trying, most likely fail, but then if they give up you can show them. You grab and push on these two matches, third match drops down, goes in between of two matches and under match and you pick up all of the matches. Check it out. Pretty insane, huh? Pretty cool. And if you pull it out, it's false. Fire extinguisher, you wanna have it close by because we're gonna use lighter, vodka, and shot glass. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna challenge somebody to pick up the glass with your palm. Not with your finger, but with your palm. You know what I mean? This is, you cannot do that, you know? You see, you're still using your finger. So, but other way wise, it's impossible, you know? Because that would be using your finger. So if they give up and don't know how to do it, you pretty much Put some liquor like vodka or higher that will burn and light it up and put hand into it. And you see, it's you picked up the bottle and you see, not just picked up, you can turn it over and like sideways and all your fingers are up, you see what I'm saying? So, that's the bet. You can win if they don't know what kind, how to do it. And tell me how does it work scientifically too. How does it stick to my hand? Anyways, twist off to unfold it. You see I got a little white spot in here and red circle. It doesn't hurt. This is just blood coming. It's not painful at all, but it's gonna go away pretty soon. 
but it's a kind of funny 